Hi beauty, welcome back to my channel. I'm Jessica Alexandria of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is your monthly forecast for the month of April for the sign of Capricorn. Now the cards that I've pulled for you are the High Priestess from Doreen Virtue's Goddess Oracle. From the Nature Speak, we have Walnut, Transition and Initiation. Rainbow, The Hidden Gift. And from the Rider Waite, we have King of Cups, the Star card, and the Emperor. Now the first thing that I'm feeling and seeing as I'm looking at these cards, I wanna focus on transition. I wanna focus on transformation. I want to say that in some way, shape, or form, even with the Emperor here, it seems like there is something that needs to be completely, completely released. And I know some of you guys are like, wait Jess, where is this coming from? Outside of the fact that the word transition is here at the bottom of the card for the walnut, the walnut card, intuitively, this is what it is that I'm seeing. And the other thing that I'm seeing is that with this star card, even though the star card is the card of hope and healing, which I do want us to focus on because that's the main message of this card, intuitively, for those of you guys that don't know how the tarot works for me is that when I see these symbols on the cards, they trigger my intuition and they trigger my own visions. And because essentially that's what the tarot is, it's just a tool. And the vision that it is that I'm getting with this is more of the dark and the light that is to come because of the dark. And that's where the star card comes in here. The 50% the of the star card is coming with the rainbow and the other 50% is from the dark and the transition. So intuitively, uh, Capricorn, I think that you know <laughs> that for the month of April, there is something that needs to be completely, totally released. There are changes that need to happen within your life that you know intuitively need to happen or maybe need to happen, need to have happened a while ago. I think that this is the month that it needs to happen, like for sure. The thing is, is that anything and whatever it is that I'm saying, like, or as I'm saying this, what is it that pops up in your head? What is it that you think of as I'm saying this or what things or people do you think of as I'm saying this because that's again your intuition that inner high priestess that is speaking to you that is saying that something has to be sacrificed here meaning something has to be released something has to be slaughtered something has to be taken out not because it's trash but because it doesn't serve you or because it, it needs to go that there's a tie that needs to be severed. There's a cord that needs to be cut. And this has to come from you. I think that that's why the emperor is here, or maybe it can represent a man or a person in your life that sh it shows the quality, the traits of the king of cups or the traits of the emperor. But either way, you yourself also have to um, pull in the traits of the emperor. I don't care if you're a male or a female. This message applies to all the sexes. It doesn't exclude anybody. The tarot works with energy and vibration only. It doesn't look at us for surface level for how it is that we appear, how it is that we identify. So the emperor is saying that you need to initiate this. You need to do this. You need to call the shots. And this is something that you've known to do for a while. The thing is, is that for a lot of people, especially Capricorn, because Capricorn, when you are invested in something, you're invested in it for the long haul. It's really hard sometimes for you to let some things go. On the flip side, you can be kind of cold and calculated when it comes to letting some things go, which I appreciate, but I'm just being honest. But some people do have fear when it comes to cutting these ties and severing these ties and cutting these cords because they feel like, okay, once I release this, it's gone forever. The reality is, is that anything that is dead and anything that is sent to the grave and sent, you know, cut and released and, and, and when you know it doesn't serve you and that's the truth of it, that's the reality of it, you're so afraid to let it go because you feel like that's it, you're never going to see anything like that again. But the reality is, is that anything that is released, it comes back in an, another form. It's not really released. You're just allowing it to show up again in a different form that's going to be better for you. That's the thing that I want you to focus on too with this is that 
the star card and the rainbow card, it works with potential, it works with healing, it works with blessing and what is to come. It may seem like an illusion, it may seem like a fantasy, it may seem so far away, but it brings hope and it brings inspiration and tells you that there is something here when we move through the darkness, but the, 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 the truth is that the darkness, whatever this darkness is, this void, um, or this negative thing or whatever it has to be cut and released from your life in the month of April Go ahead and do it go ahead and release it because that is actually the hidden gift That is the blessing and that's going to create more Potential and inspiration for you and open doors for you But again if you don't initiate this if you don't do this and again this comes from your intuition You know what this thing is you've been probably getting messages and signals for a while but April is the time where it almost seems as if the universe is kind of taking a sledgehammer and be like, dun, 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 go, do it now. If you don't, if, you, if you're intuitively called to kind of release something, maybe it's a bad habit, maybe it's a person, a relationship, you know, the stubbornness or enabling behavior, or you, maybe you enable yourself, maybe you're stuck in this, you know, victim mentality and the universe is saying, stop, stop, cut that out. That doesn't serve you anymore. Whatever that is, or maybe it's a relationship, maybe it's a partner. But you have to initiate the change. And if you don't, the universe will do it for you and you don't want that. Trust me, you don't want that. So that's what it is that I'm seeing for you, Capricorn, for the month of April. I hope that that, makes, that message makes sense. If it does or if it doesn't, still give me the thumbs up if you love this video. Make sure that you're subscribed to my YouTube channel. You have your notifications turned on. That way you see this video as well as any other ones that you know come up. And I'll see you in my next video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.